you're looking back, and, and Demi Gorgon's real interested in their boat, and they just managed to get all their people back on uh, their boat. My boys. <laughs> um, strength check for you, we're and we're going to get uh, the quack off the strength check. <laughs> Y'all are about 100 feet into the dark lake right about now, okay. as you see him just pow, bashing the shit out of the city, killing everybody. His followers, other people's followers, he doesn't care. He's the the prince of darkness. He's Ozzy Osbourne. Um, you wake up. <laughs> ding dong? Which one's next? Your ding dong? Okay, you're next, ding dong. Roll me up for Captain Black. Okay. Ooh, that's a good shit right there. You sort of you sort of see something mm-hmm. way off in the distance. Off this way, you see something not really hauling ass, but not really walking either. It sort of looks like it's flying. Just shh. above the water. Above the water, and then you see another one. And they're leaving us. They're they're basically going parallel from you, way out there. And you see another one. And you see another one. And you sit there and you sort of count them. About 12, 13 of them. And no. they're human sized. Either human sized or slightly bigger. You have a dream. Oh boy. Oh shit, she got a dream. You you hear this is a voice. Yeah. Uh, the voice, all it says is, you know, hello. Is, is there someone there? Hello. <laughs> you know, uh, just, just come find me. I, I need some help. I need some, that's I'm all it is. To you from for like the underdark sea. Hours. Hello from the underdark. And that's it. <laughs> Uh, the watch is over. Y'all wake up. Their y'all exhaustion is gone away. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! I wanted to kill one of y'all with exhaustion. <laughs> Just to let y'all know there were some low flying fish esque type humanoid beings. Never said that. That's very fish. vague. That's uh, very vague. I didn't see them very far. I rolled a twenty two, but I still didn't How? see what they were. But Where? The northwest, I think, is what How they far? were. Far. I don't. Sour patch? I just dream. <laughs> just stop. Did you have a dream then? Just stop saying we lost the Madeline. I did. Where's Is it a good dream? Was I there? Are any? Huh? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> we're on the water, so it must have been wet. <laughs> the dwarf is a corn dog. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who's that? Just a dream. I don't know this Jesus fellow. It wasn't like the ones that the Demos and the Castan had before. No, no. With the wounds. No. <laughs> okay. Not wound. like that. Wound? Wound. When you wake oh, up. Oh, thank goodness. Rick up. I said wound. You hear the voice again. Sort of the same stuff. You know, come help me. I'm trapped. You know, I've been waiting for you. Is this, okay, wait, is this like a, a sexual come find me, or is it like a help me yeah, come find me? Come find me. Help me, <laughs> Rick. Help me come find me. Not You're a, my only help. Come find me so I can bang you in my sex dungeon. Okay. Wow! It's not like Always that. a sex dungeon. <laughs> Why do you have to have a dungeon? Nobody keeps murder dungeons anymore. What happened to this world? Fifty Shades of Grey. Damn it. Fifty Shades of Dungeons. I think I'm just going to keep that that I'm hearing voices to myself. Okay. Fair enough. Not tell the rest of the crew. Okay, because nobody else can hear it. We don't judge, Ricka. Yes, you do. <laughs> I mean, just just a little bit. That's basically all we do. Couldn't so, y'all wake up. What do y'all want to do? Uh, I don't want to cast Dark Vision yet. Okay. Uh, dark Vision? Or, okay. I don't know. Dark Vision, yeah. Um, I'm going to help Sarah this time tie the net. It's almost comical how small this is. Tie the, tie the net or pull the net in? Oh, no. Tie the net. No, okay. tie it again. Okay. okay. Okay, uh, y'all tie the net off. It's perfectly fine. Does anybody else need to do anything before we shove off? I'm going to take my uh, scroll of light and give it to Demos. Fair enough. Okay. okay. Um, did Did you ever give uh, their group uh, uh, some potions? Do you Do you have any or anything? I don't want to say that that's meta, but yeah, I'll, I'll give. We have healing potions. We don't need them. Okay, then you're good. They're good. I don't have anything. I don't know what I you're talking about. Gibraltar healing potion. Yes. Awesome. Okay. How okay. Is it healed? You're not using it. One d four is tall plus four. He gave me a scroll of light. Can I transcribe that into my book of magic? 
That's cool. Uh, I would say you probably can. I think it's in here somewhere. Because you use a spell book, right? Yeah. I will um, give... Which boat's in front? I'll give it to the store. I'm going to give him a potion of water, water breathing. Okay. Thank you. He said he can't swim. No, that was Gibraltar. Was it? Oh, it was Gibraltar. I've only got one swim. leg. I told oh, you, right. it floats. Yeah, maybe if I swirled it around. Okay. Like a um, propeller. So y'all are done uh, passing out potions, etc.? Yeah. What? Yeah. Y'all done passing out potions, etc.? Yeah, well, I'm done passing out potions. I'm the only one that passed any potions. Fair, I don't fair. Well. Potions. I, I was told not potions. to pass potions. Yeah. Okay. Potions. okay, turns out... Stop, stop bickering and bickering amongst each other. <laughs> turns out I can't transcribe a cantrip. Only a first level or higher. First level. You want to I scroll back? Okay, so um, we'll say that this day sort of passes no events. Oh, no. sorry. Before we do that, okay. before we shove off, cast Dark Vision on myself with two key points, and it's a touch spell. So I touch Gibraltar before we go, and I give him Dark Vision. Ah, awesome. <laughs> okay, so... Um, so now we can see in the dark. Fall off the boat, dude. But is there a way I can take a short rest on the way there? We can say yeah. Um, basically, Thank what you. we're doing is we're expediting some of the days. Okay. Since you know, you do know that there's fish in the sea, right. and really nothing's following you at this moment. Um, the next day passes. That's the routine by. I want to go. With. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, the next day passes. Y'all catch enough fish for that day, and you know between the two boats, that passes. You have another dream. This time it's even stronger. You wake up the next morning. And you are compelled to basically listen I must to what this man. person says. <laughs> uh, they said the same thing. Okay. Except this time they added, you're getting closer. Okay, the next day... Can, can I see here? that she's getting like... Yeah, can we know uh, she's getting... I would, I would, I would say check? I would say that she is getting a little worried a little bit about no one else is hearing these voices. And she mm-hmm. can probably determine that no one else is hearing these voice, voices because... Well, would you want to talk to him or not? Would can I talk? Like, to what? can I can I roll? Day. Can I roll a medicine check to see if I s- notice that she's upset? Because we we notice that she's waking up like uh, instead yep. of just okay. like waking up. Uh, I will let y'all roll y'all's medicine checks, intelligence checks, whatever. Twenty four for medicine. No. Uh, she's perfectly fine medically, uh, including the brain. <laughs> what would I do? How did you do that with the brain? Uh, Twenty two <laughs> persuasion. Persuasion. What are you gonna persuade her for? Rick, are, are Yo, you baby, what's up? You just seem a bit worried. Do you want to talk to us about anything? I've been having some very strange Nat dreams. 20 on Arcana, 27. Okay. To see if it's a magically voice, induced. Strange voice keeps telling me to come and find it. Come and find me. And I don't know who it is. I don't. doesn't sound familiar. And it keeps telling me we're getting closer. I'm getting closer. Come and find me. This sounds like sea witches. Sounds like trap. I don't like it's those sure. mermaids that Magic turn you to witches. stones when you look at their snake hairs. When did it start? The first night we slept on the boat. Has anyone else been having sea weird witches? Is weird it, dreams? No one else has strange dreams on the we boat. We don't have any other female it, companions. It, it in the, could be ocean nope. madness. Ocean so madness. That's what, I was that's, of. that's what they say, but it's never a thing. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't have it. Gibraltar doesn't I don't have, have it either. either. <laughs> Mean hater. Mean hater. <laughs> Start killing people. <laughs> we'll be able to eat for days when they go mad. I can't yes. sleep. I'm always and mad. every morning I, I wake up and I hear it when I'm awake. Come and find me. It doesn't give you a name or a location? Do you ever answer back? Why would a dream do that? All, all, all it's ever said is come find me. Dreams are yeah, consciousness way of no, dealing with problems. Why would I do that? Does it tell you if you're getting closer? It says it. we're getting. It says I'm getting closer. I'm almost here. Would I know if this is something magical? Uh, you will do a what? A twenty-two? Twenty-seven. An at twenty oh. on Arcana. Okay. You can determine that, that there might be some magical communication mm-hmm. between whatever it is. And Bailey, I can assume it's telepathic of some sort. You, you, you can't tell if it's telepathic. You can't tell where it's coming from. You can't tell who's saying it. You just know that, oh, well, there is a link between... So she's not crazy. It's she's something trying to contact her. Exactly. But okay. see, you, you can't hear it or nothing. You're just like, no, she's, she's telling the truth. There's something floating around her head. I can see that from here. 
How many days have we been on the boat? Uh, by this time, you've been on the boat for three days, so you have 17 more days to go till Grackle Stoop. I don't think I can take this for 17 more days. Sarah, is there an island around here? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, Sarah sort of points, she's like, the closest one, I think, would be a rather big island towards the north. We'll have to cut sharp to the north, northwest a little bit. That's where them things were. No one told me about the things. The flappy things. No, he said, he said, he talked about the flappy things. Oh, the flappy yeah. things. Floating flappers. The floating humanoid Well, flappy. it's, it's about a day away. Directly north? Uh, northwest. At this so, y- y'all are basically... Northwest. Exactly. Uh, right. Where y'all were going, we're just going across this way, so y'all are going to have to come like this way a little bit. Okay. And then come back now. Um... I want to get with Seraph and Jim Jar and try and make a more reliable map, just not from Velkenville, because that's where my map was, okay. but like of the Dark Lake and from there and all that. I other. am proficient in navigations on the water, Me too. so maybe we can Very well. Them. I just want to be able to not just look at this little compass-esque type thing and say, oh, well, it's, you know, 30 days to Blimstonstone from Velkenville, but we're not at Velkenville. You know what right, I'm saying? Yeah, I exactly. want to be able to have like a topographical map. You don't have all those little... A compass? <laughs> uh, wait, is that a... Compass? compass? Pro tracker? Pro, no. Compass. Say it in Bodhi talk. Arshie blows! Starboard power! Poop dick! The thing that goes like this. The key? That's the one. <laughs> it's, it's a compass? It is a drawing of a key. It's a drawing. <laughs> drawing. I have a key. I, I do have a key, though. It's, I opened the chest. Key. Still in your inventory. Is that weightless equipment in your inventory? <laughs> Ricka, what, yes. what do you want to do about this? Because if we keep going, you might keep hearing it. Why don't you try staying awake? This she hears it during the day now. But the if she doesn't go to sleep, it might not come back to her in the first direction place. y'all are heading. From Swift to Duke to Rapid Duke. We could try that. The coast, mm-hmm. basically. Okay. Or we could try to find I'll it. get you a better one in a moment. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like a bad voice. I say we find it and we kill it. Rick, maybe it. ask it. I like that. Let's kill one. it. That's okay. a good idea. So it happened about the same time that the uh, big floaty humanoid fish thingies were flying past us. Probably I think they're unrelated. They she might be. Would. I don't know. If it's just purely related. a coincidence. Yeah. Nothing's ever a coincidence in the Underdark. Ooh, and you believe that too because you use the coins. <laughs> uh, we'll do whatever you need to do, Ricka, because this is this is not a good thing. This is getting out of hand. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just Pilot. me. We I take back my dark vision. <laughs> no! <laughs> he gets his inspiration coin. That was a hook, <laughs> line, and sink card. I take on a roll. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. You just. Someone said a joke. <laughs> I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> I felt it through the waves. And what happened? <laughs> I said this was getting out of hand. And Spencer threw me inspiration. <laughs> and, and, then he says, and then I said hook, line, and sinker. God damn it. Oh, that was beautiful. Even Jora laughed. Uh, all right. <laughs> I don't understand puns. Uh, a lot of people like them. So, explain y'all joke. <laughs> so explain y'all joke. have a... Uh, you gotta have a crook sense of humor. Are y'all deciding to go to the okay, fuck y'all, to fun. the source of where Ricka is hearing her voice? Oh, is that what, what, what doing. is it? Yeah, it is. is. I'm stuck. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, okay. Well, like I said, uh, about this time, Bailey can feel like like a force pulling her towards the northwest, Ooh, which sort of would correlate to what uh, Sarah would say about the Where's island. The island. Okay, it's up to you. Uh, if. You don't want to go. I will have to jump into the water and swim towards the island by ba- myself. Basically, it's getting to that point to where this force is basically dragging her mind to where it is. Didn't we go? This. Didn't we go? We have to. I'm going to lean down to Jim Jar and be like, I have hold person, but I don't want to have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Jar's like, on who? <laughs> oh my god, he thirsty to get me right here. here. She's, she's not crazy. She's just a little off. Like him. Don't talk to okay. Jim Draw that way. So y'all are, <laughs> you're all planning on going there? Yeah. Don't worry, Rico. We'll get this sorted out. So uh, the the next day goes, uh, like I said, usually un, un, unavoided. Uh, un, un, what? Eventful? Choose a word. Uneventful. Choose a word. I don't care. <laughs> um, kind of boring. And, and, Except for hearing voices. And Sarath is, he's like, the island's, you know, 
about an hour ahead from what I remember, right? So y'all are traveling across, traveling across, traveling across. No. Because, Sheriff, are these islands, do they have any lore about being cursed or haunted or evil? Uh, more, the, more so than the rest of the Underdark. The, is there a snake island? <laughs> There is, no, island. there is no Skull Island or Snake Island. What about Crack Rock? There, there was a... Island of the Dead. Crack Rock, I remember There crack was rock. a, I a liked story it. of... He's dead now. He is? A fallen <laughs> empire being down here. And it's... A what empire? A fallen empire being down here. That wasn't dwarvish in nature. That... They said it landed in the Dark Lake somewhere. It fell from the surface? That's the story. Jeez. And Not just from the surface, from the sky. So like, wait, sky from the giants. upper sky, from the sky, sky, from the sky. So it fell all the way through the surface and down into the underdark. It penetrated the crust and ended up in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're all wet. All right. Well, I guess we keep an eye out for it. Okay. Since all of us have dark vision now. So, uh, mm. about, you know, he says, you know, the island that he was referring to, this really big island that he knows is where it's at, uh, is on about an hour away. Y'all y'all start getting there, and you notice, you know, sparse islands out, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. And the big island he was referring to is in the middle. And y'all are about 30 feet away, and y'all run aground. We run aground? Yeah. We didn't notice. Who was steering this boat? Uh, okay, well, roll me a perception check to see if y'all do run aground. We'll perception do that. or Dude, water vehicles. Captains or what? We're proficient uh, with just, water vehicles. Okay, then do... Add two? Uh, no, it's we'll add your proficiency bonus. Two. Two, two perceptions. Oh, okay, so well then yes, yes. Then roll, then add your proficiency bonus. 20? 23. <laughs> Okay, fine. Then you don't run aground. How about that? I chose oh. the good boat. <laughs> Look, there's ground. Let's avoid it. <laughs> <You> <laughs> Look, there's the ground. ground. Let's <laughs> let's not step in it. Good job, storks. Uh, <laughs> I'm not an iceberg. I look at him and disgust. I'll remember this, damn it. I'll remember the shit out of this. <laughs> I'll get every single one of y'all eventually. <laughs> okay, um, so. You just gotta be smarter than your lord. So, y'all... <laughs> Y'all managed to make it up on this island. Uh, do y'all want to drag your boats up on the island? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. We'll tie them off to a rock. Tie them, yeah. <laughs> them off with a rock. That's a good idea. A big old sturdy rock. Big old sturdy rock. Did y'all catch any fish? Oh yeah, let's check that real quick. Yeah, is there okay. fish in my net? Uh, now do you want to... Yeah, okay, we'll say that you pulled another day's worth of fish up. Do y'all want to leave the fish in the boat and let them sit and rot and mm-hmm. maybe collect animals? We'll leave them tied into the net. Leave tied them alive. The, yeah, okay, in the water. Yeah, in, the water. Um, in the shallow water. In the shallow water. Where they're all just flapping around. How much? Yeah. Listen. Put them in a bucket. Can we fill it? Thank you, Gibraltar. Put water in a bucket. Put them in a bucket. Put water in the bucket. Okay, you know the bucket. Put another bucket on top of the bucket. They can't get out. Okay. Put that box in another box. I will allow that to happen, but you're only getting a bucket full this big, this tall. How many fish do you think I can put in a bucket? You have to have water. More fun than a barrel of fishes. (laughs) I've got a a (laughs) masher for a leg. I can easily fit three fish. You can fit about three, four fish. We'll say you can fit a fish a person in the bucket, okay, including we'll the water. One fish. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's Okay, that's, ten, that's dinner. The technicality yeah. of fishes. Okay. That's dinner. So, y'all go on land? Perception check, the whole Perception check. I can see. Da, 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 da. Okay, everyone roll a perception check if you want. Yay. Mm, 24. 18? 14. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to go around the corner. 24? Mm-hmm. 18? 14. 14. 20. 18. 18. 22? Uh, we'll say it's not really that hard to find. It's, the island is sort of, you know, it's in the underdark. Y'all all have dark vision on. Um, where y'all uh, beached in at, there's really not any sand or anything. It's just like smooth rock. Pebbles? Uh, okay. Like river, a bit, no, like the whole, the whole island is just like one big, the whole rock is one big rock. So there's no structures uh, or anything on this island? Wait for him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where y'all are at, there's basically like a, a ledge that goes up. And there's like a like a little walkway. It wasn't, doesn't look like man-made. It wasn't like carved into the stone or anything. But traveled. you can sort of tell it's sort of been traveled by whatever. 
Uh, and it goes up to where the platform is. Because you can't see over this platform. It's too tall. Y'all can go up there if you want to. What time of the day is it? What time of the day is it? Dark. I mean, with our <laughs> <laughs> we've been awake. Are we tired? Uh, really? Uh, no, no. Y'all really? just woke up. Basically, uh, y'all woke up like an hour away from this place. And then, Dark. so it's like way early in the morning. Are there any other boats around us? Nope. Hey, DM. Let's go explore it. Inspiration coin. Give me the give me the jerky. Inspiration the, coin. No, give me the jerky. No bribing him. No, you can't bribe me. I can't hey, bribe everyone you. saw it. He's trying to bribe me for no. coins. That's out of the game. You don't have jerky in the game. If you had yeah. jerky in the game, then you could do it's the DM. Fish. <laughs> hey, give me some fish, then, bitch. The DM doesn't. Jim Jaw wants some fish. I'll make a bet with you, Jim Jaw. I give you this fish, and if you think it tastes like beef, you owe me some money. Fair enough. <laughs> Jim Jaw's a terrible catch, everyone. <laughs> Jesus, it's been over a year since I've had beef jerky. <laughs> really? The incident. Oh, that's right. Since California. Yep. California incident. I refuse. You I'll had it for dinner for like six days. I will never eat it again. I don't think I was. It there. was on the way there. Oh, okay. on the way back. It was, yeah. Scott, it was the whole way. It was the loves. Was the, the loves. It looked like this. It was, oh, yeah. No, you don't eat that. You don't eat that. It cuts your mouth. It was pretty good. And your throat, and your stomach, and then you die. Okay. And then you're going up to the silent, right? Yeah, we'll go up there, I guess. Lauren. Very well. Okay. Trust so when y'all right when y'all get up to the top of this um I guess uh plat platform, y'all do see a building. A very, very ancient building. Wood or something? stone. Does it look like And that? the voices are now perfectly clear in your head. I don't know. Not only is it stone, but it is. Uh, well, let me just give is you it a. Just saying the same. Do you yeah. Okay. Them? Well, give me a, give me a second. Give me a second. Same thing. Okay. Over and okay. over. Okay. Poor Mika. She got to touch of the madness. Tell me, Max, they have fun for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, <laughs> give her a good peg leg. <laughs> the actual like uh, sides and everything of this uh, this underground fortress, you can tell it's like stone. But it's stone that has like bronze and everything in it, brass. But it's been under here so long that it has turned green. So it's like Let's Statue Tina. of Liberty stone, brassy. Yeah, the patina is like it's the brass it's knoll. It. It's the got that two century patina on it. Okay, and uh, about this time, like Sarath and Jim Jar are just like, well, uh, have fun with that. <sighs> and they're gonna stay at the boats. Do y'all know something about this? Sarath sort of speaks up and he's just like, I think this is uh, the, the Fallen Empire, basically, is what he's going to tell you. Can you give us any um, more information on that? He, they, okay, he would... Sarath would probably know... Sky Giants. That it's a... Uh, Jesus. It's a thing. I like that. It was a half-elf sorcerer's uh, empire, basically, and this half-elf sorcerer was named... Brysis of Kahim. Wait a second. Wait a second. Brysis. What was the name again? Sorry. Brysis. B R Y. S I S. Supreme. Of Kahim. Oh, of Kahim. K H A E M. <laughs> Supreme. Kahim. Uh, that looks right to me. Sure. Come in, come in. Basically, uh, what had happened is uh, the story he's going to tell you is that Brysis of Kahim was this uh, was a sorcerer that lived in uh, one of Faerun's great empires back in the day, and when the the empire fell uh, and all its ball its cities fell or whatever, this uh, specific person Brysis was in a tomb and the tomb was floating too, and the tomb. Psh- plummeted to Earth, found its way through a crevasse, and landed up in the Underdark. Through a what? A crevice. Crevasse. 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 It's not a lake. Yes, it's a crevasse. It's fancy and This crevasse will totally put your house Shit, together. Is, Tie the whole room insane. together. Together. Mm. I like a good crevasse. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> okay. There are y'all, did you y'all kill it? planning on entering this I can't believe it didn't explode. I'll draw my sword and shield and walk in. Okay. Oh, shit! Okay. Uh, I'm right well, behind the, her with the uh, let me, let me just sort of describe. Let me just sort of describe the doors and everything. And my uh, 
every door <laughs> in this place is a 10 foot okay, by 10 it. foot slab of solid marble. <laughs> and it's encased in a thin layer of beaten bronze. The, bo- the bronze, of course, has turned green um, uh. with age. And the salt of this. Uh, and the I door, feel like we're about to have the doors a dragon don't, priest. The doors don't battle. open like this. There's a center axis, and the doors spin like a Skyrim door, or like a secret hidden door. Uh, so, if you plan on opening this door, give me a strength check because it is a solid ten foot by ten foot door made of marble. Oh. I'll help. I'm Are gonna we use my luck and roll again. Fair enough. Fifteen. Daddy, not that. That does it. You managed to open this door. Uh, I would assume that y'all both push on one side, and the door opens mm. uh, to where there was two t- side doors on either side, about. Mm, four and a half feet. Like a very inefficient wide. way to make a door. Okay, so uh, we all are going to enter. But very secure. Yep. Okay, as you enter, you hear a a voice, the same voice, uh, and it says, "Hello, is someone there? Oh, please, I need your help. I've been trapped in the dark for so long, so very long. Please, won't you help free me?" Can do we all hear, this hear that? Just her. Just her. Can they still see in the dark? Yeah, everyone yeah, can still see in the dark. Okay. Uh, and and for those that are magic casters, I guess the two of y'all, y'all sort of see the same sort of uh, glow that y'all have seen before in the Underdark. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, in in this uh, in this tomb area. The uh, phaser res. Madness you, you fog. Can, you can imagine that it is that is what it is. Hey, casting. Yes. Madness fog. Okay. What is that? Um, Let's see that. We'll the say that fog. whoever, uh, when, when y'all enter this, uh, I guess the first room, it's not a super, super big room. Uh, probably like 20 feet wide, 10, 15 feet long, and you know, 15 foot, 15 foot ceilings. Um. Can you, give us some paper it, it, you said it was pretty pretty long hallway. Uh, no, well, yeah. Uh, the, where y'all are at right now, y'all do see a a hallway straight ahead of you, but like uh, it's sort of like the entrance room, right? So it's about twenty feet to where you get to the hallway, and the about ten feet on either side, and the ceiling goes up about fifteen feet. Uh, when you enter this room, on the right hand side, you see a uh, a diorama depicting the uh, actual sorcerer the uh, sorcerer of uh, uh, Bryce Kahim. Uh, she is surrounded by attendants, slaves, and uh, trappings of all her wealth. Like it's sort of is like the tomb of her? you are you can assume that you are this in is the her, mausoleum. Her new tomb. Um and like behind it is all the floating cities that they that uh, Seraph was talking about. So this mural is depicting, you know, uh, her and her greatness, surrounded by all her slaves and treasure. And behind her, that, you know, like in the foreground, it's her in the back is like all her flying cities, basically. You're no harm. You're no harm. Yeah. I, so she's in the lead then. Uh, I would say so. All right, I'm gonna step up next to her. I'm gonna, with axe in hand, I'm gonna tell her something comes at us. You hit him low, I'll hit him high. Um, can one of us search for traps? Uh, I would say anyone proficient in sleight of hand can check for traps. Ricky, do we want to be quiet, or do we want to just do this? Let me look around for a minute. Do you want to be stealthy? Because I can cast something if we I need think to. It's, I think it's okay. Just, just okay. watch my back. Okay. Okay. Be careful for pressure plates. I want to keep uh, and slit holes. I want to keep my hands in slit, slit, slit holes. Ricka's got a watch position. position. That's in the thing. cast position. Don't trust at, him. at Ricka. Oh, so you're gonna cast something at Ricka? I'm, I'm just gonna be ready. Okay. What Fair. are you ready? Okay. I so, got the axe in both uh, hands. So uh, there is a stairwell going down <laughs> that y'all notice. So this room. Is you know a big room, sort of depicting her glory, as it were. Yeah. Um, you all want to go down the stairs, even though she fell all the, the way voice? to the underground. No, no, no the this is after calling? she died. Ooh. Is the voice calling from down the stairs? I want to check. The I want to check the stairs for traps. Okay, okay. Uh, roll me a slide of hand check. Twenty-six. Damn. Wow. 
you don't find any traps. It is clean. Um, I'll go down the stairs towards the boys. Okay. Uh, the stairs, they go down about 20 feet, and then there's a platform, and then sort of the platform sort of continues, and it comes down about another 20 feet, and there's another platform, and then it goes down. Uh, said and done, it goes down about 100 feet. Jesus. Flat. To the stairs. So y'all can mark down on your, your bucket list. Go to the Underdark. Go deeper in the Underdark. We gotta go we deeper. Went deeper. We gotta go deeper. We're, We're in done. Too deep. We're we done. Did it. Thank y'all for so. watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> ba da ba. I can still hear the voice. What's well, at the bottom of the stairs? Stairs open up in the yeah. chasm in it's the in dark under the dark sea. <laughs> Roughly twice the size of the first one. <laughs> so. There's a, a stairwell in the, uh, what's it called? In the mausoleum? There's a stairwell in the mausoleum. There's a the mausoleum. Island, yeah, yeah. In the pond, in, in the, the cave. In the bottom of the, in the, sea, in the, the bottom of the underdark yeah. sea. Okay. All right. Did we check the mausoleum at all? I'm glad we cleared that up. Uh, no. Okay. But it's kind of, there's really nothing there, so don't worry about okay. it. Okay. We should just get to the metal one. Okay. So y'all come down here to the, uh, the second level. And uh, sort of roll a perception check. Everyone who wants to, I guess. Uh, who's in the lead? You're in the lead. Yeah. I would yep. say you're in the lead. I'll check the traps. 19. 24. 7. I don't have very good perception. <laughs> I did not roll. <laughs> <Perception. laughs> <laughs> 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 I rolled 18. I rolled okay. and they went straight uh, down, down the stairs. It's really not <laughs> too hard to determine that this is sort of like a shrine to uh, Rice of Kahim. So um, you see, like uh, dusty uh, tapestries. You know they lie. Uh, they lie scattered across the floor, um, uh, like fire sconces. I guess it's not the word sconch. Sconce. Uh, uh, Mind if I squanch over here? That's what he says on irony, but now I think it's true. <laughs> uh, some of these. Uh, it's pro- is it pronounced phrases? Phrases. Uh, F R I E Z E S. Freeze. Freeze. Frise. Frise. The frizzles. Frizzles. Mm. Uh, on the walls Dearling. have been uh, defaced with deep gouges, um, making them unrecognizable. An altar of pale gray marble stands uh, gouged and cracked against one wall. The wall would be to your left uh, if you come down the stairs. Rick, does it sound like a female voice? Uh, if anyone wants to check the damages on uh, on any of this to determine. What kind of weapon it was, when it happened, any of that, y'all can. It would be an intelligence check. Mm. Anyone proficient in intelligence? Investigation, technically. Yeah, I am. Just kidding. Anyone proficient in investigation? Okay. 27. Uh, When you check this room, it reveals that the damage to this room is uh, recent. And that. Yeah, recent. And that the creatures that caused all this damage left no tracks of any kind in the layer of dust on the floor. So there's dust on the floor. And you see gouges that are have been. I can assume it's recent. Flying, twisted, flawed creature. Them flying you, uh, you, you can assume that whatever caused this didn't have any feet, because the dust on the floor hasn't been messed with. There's that's, not a footprint in the floating. dust. That's a weird way to say that. Or is it the best way to say that? They didn't have any feet. Okay. Well, what we can put together I is that they like weren't that's a flapping something because of I'm the dust we moved feet. about. <laughs> Okay. So they're a floating clawed so from where creature. from where y'all are at right now. Uh, right. To the left is sort of like a, oh, the, the shrine. Uh, in front of you, almost it's, directly in front of you, is a uh, a room, place. and to the right is the room. Uh, the room to the right, a little closer, but they're nah, they're about the same distance. They're about Metro the one in front of you is about twenty feet. The one to the right is about fifteen, seventeen feet. Are there monsters in here? Rick, do you, do you know which direction they're ta- calling you from? It sort of uh, it sort of sounds like it's calling you from the the, the room dead ahead of you. Keep going straight. Okay, keep going marble. straight. Is it a door? Uh, there is another big marble door, and I'm going to get ready to uh, draw some things, I guess. Okay, the way you just came is the stairs, so we'll just wipe the stairs. It doesn't matter. Okay, so Ricka has... Probably coming about this far in the room. And I made sure there was no traps on the door. Correct. There uh, are no traps on me. Okay. 
So no then ahead of you is where you sort of hear the voices. Okay. Um, a big door. Uh, did y'all roll to open the door? I didn't. Uh, if you want to, just go ahead and re-roll. Or roll. Ten. It doesn't budge. Can we look around the room? Uh, yeah. I put my shoulder into it with her. Give Fair her enough. a hand. Which door are we opening up? At 18. It, it, it budges now. The little yeah. man comes up and is like, Squat, use your legs! <laughs> it's a low center. Push with your back! Uh, so that door uh, manages to open. Uh, to answer Save your question, the this room, the only thing really inside of it, other than the, like you know the tapestry is sort of on the ground and everything, is the uh, sort of the the shrine to the left hand side. Is there damage in this room too? Uh, the room that you're going to, or the room that the you're room in? The room that right we're now? in. Uh, yes, that's where the damage was. Uh, the damage was all over like uh, the tapestries were cut and you know gouged and all the. Freezies or whatever were all gouged and defaced Freezies. and everything. Freezies! 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 You just crazy, dude! I can't wait for the comments. Yeah, uh, <laughs> what the hell's a Freezy? <laughs> no, it's not that. It's, hey, it's Freezy, you dumbass! That's Freezy, you dumbass! It's a crappy show we're just from gonna, the 90s. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so y'all managed to open that door. Okay. Sure. Does it look like the ground has been disturbed past the door or that they couldn't get the door open? Uh, basically, when you open the door, the dust where the door was has now been tampered with. Other than that, it y'all have been the first people in here in a long time. Okay. It's been many moons. Okay, so y'all, uh, at least uh, Rika and uh, JR are at least in this room to give a perception check. Fourteen. Okay. Less. <laughs> Less. Uh, ten. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Did we switch? Um, <laughs> Basically, you know, Rick comes died. in and she looks to the left, and uh, JR comes in, he sort of looks to the right, and there's four uh, sarcophaguses. Sarcophagi, that's a word. Uh, two on each side. Y'all may proceed to do whatever. I assume by this time, are y'all going to follow them in there? I would like to walk in right after them. Yes. Okay. Can so I we'll tell say, which oh, one is talking good. to me? Uh, and then Rick does a somersault right in the room. I'm, I'm going to watch the door and I'm going to. Face the, the yeah, room that they haven't bitch, gone yeah. okay. I'm going to stay okay. right where I'm at and keep an eye out. All right. Uh, uh, J, uh, Demos? Demos? Yeah, I'm in there. Prepared, You're in there with him? They get to prepare. You're in there with him? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll say we're we'll like that. I don't have to prepare? Okay. He's, he's saying I can detect good and evil? Are you staying with me? Uh, uh, that time, I think. I'm pretty sure I am. Is that a spell? Yeah. No, it's a pass feature. This place is a pass feature. I don't like this place. Divine new. I'm live. Sir. To channel divinity. Let's say they all die in there. What happens next? We take both boats and we leave. Okay. Is Tuli with me or did he stay at the boats? All the NPCs stayed at boats. This is the first time we've been separated oh, shit. since we got together. Do you have separation exactly? I really hope that they didn't take the boat. You could turn on dead. Stuli wouldn't leave me behind. I just think about this. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Stooley would spore all over those assholes sure if you decided to like it. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think it's the paladin that can We learned in biology class what yeah, spores actually are. <laughs> oh. Okay, I, I don't so think I can, so. Let's okay. Just, uh, um, so who wants to. Stooley's got more game than ever. Like, anybody. go and take a look at these sarcophagi. What, what, what sarcophagus do you think is talking to you? Can I tell at all? The one with the drogger you can't search. So, um, <laughs> the one that you sort of tell. Is going to be the one in Still the uh, corner, <laughs> corner, which is the one on upper Jeez. right to you. The okay. one that's furthest uh, to the right. I'm going to walk over and put a hand on it. Careful, Okay. She's going to put a hand on it. That's let's racist see if to I say could... juicy. As she's walking up, can we say, let's not do anything rash? Uh, basically, Ooh, as rash, she's walking up to it and touching it, you say, let's not do anything brash. She touches it. <laughs> I've got my axe in, in hand already because... My, and the my, second my she touches it, tingling. four specters. Death druggers. Four specters? Four specters. Pop What's out a specter? Each one of four those. Specters? Four specters? Four specters pop four out of each one, or one pops out of the four? Four specters pop out of each so one. Sixteen? Because that, that would be sixteen specters. That would be a great fight. <laughs> We're about to die. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry. Hopefully the boats are still back there. It's Oklahoma. Okay. Justice. <laughs> da na 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 na. Oh, here they are. 
Oh, by the way, if anyone wants to look at a specter, yes, it is this it little has, purple looking thing. It has no feet. So a ghost. Yeah. Does it have feet? Ah, it's a ghost. I say everybody in this room roll. I definitely initiative. want to be a part just because I'll know that they're there, right? Uh, I would say, I would say you would know they were there. So let me roll the initiative for these guys, and I'll write that down. It's a spooky. Do I want to fight? We'll say that uh, each one of y'all is rolling initiative. Just roll y'all's initiative and tell me what it is. Initiative dies. Right. Um, oh hell yeah! Let's do anything, specters? You stop rolling the That's big a good one. Question. Got it. You know, I was stopping to roll on the big one, and whenever I roll a little one, I usually get a shitty roll too. What? Roll again. Oh, that's. Uh, uh, nice. Well, uh, uh, should I go with this one or should I go with the shitty one? Spiritual weapon, dude. Mm. Bonus damage. No, you do a shitty one. It makes more sense. You right. That's bad. Does it? <laughs> we're, in, we're not in the middle. You just make another weapon. That's true. Up. I'm going to replace these with these. Okay. Just to make sure I can keep them cracking my head. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, initiative. Wait, I don't wield this. Do you like it? Right? Oh, it's right. Uh, oh, it's just another weapon. Oh, that's awesome. 22. 22, okay. Okay. Four. Four. <laughs> okay. No, you, you had your, uh, Don't y'all have four? You rolled a four, right? <laughs> four plus two. Oh. Six. Six. I shout to Gibraltar. Gibraltar, we're in a fight now. <laughs> we're in a war. <laughs> No, we're not. We're in a tomb. <laughs> okay. Fourteen. I think one of the legs is too short. Yeah. Uh, Jr. Fifteen. Fifteen. Which one? Uh, Dima. Twelve. This probably goes upside down. Okay, so uh, whenever you landed your hand on top of the wasabi piece, on top of the uh, sarcophagi, uh, every specter uh, or ghost thing uh, from each sarcophagi popped out, and uh, the very first one from your sarcophagus is going to make an attack on you. To start initiative. Why would it call me here if it just wanted to kill me? Well, to kill you. It's a siren. That was a cop. It was a trap. It was a trap. Okay, that's going to be a. 19 to hit. 19 yep. to hit? Fuck. Okay, so it hits you. Yep. It's gonna hit you with uh, 10 necrotic damage. I'm just taking the minimum. Okay. Jesus. Ten? Yes. Don't go in that room. That's a lot. Don't go in that room. Fuck, don't touch that dial. <laughs> you don't get that back, can you? Spencer just wants to kill us. Okay, that was its turn actually. So now it's Thor's turn. A fucking course. Thor? We were ruled. Yes. <laughs> um. I made a mistake. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I might have messed up. Hold up, just a second. Away. Make me a Constitution saving throw. Oh, okay. Thank God. But there's still a chance that she can fail it. And if that's the case. Seven. Okay, you fail it, so you do take the ten of damage. Okay. Nothing's changed. Continue. <laughs> Coming. Uh. <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> Pick a tabby. All right. Fifty feet of movement. Go in. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I definitely don't want to run past that guy, so he can have an opportunity All right. to attack. So um, I want to say I want to run uh, up we'll right say, to the orange guy. The orange guy. Yeah. Okay. Because he's the first one I see. Yep. And you're gonna punch a ghost. Fury of ghost. Punch a ghost in the dick. Fury of ghosts. Um, Fury of ghosts. Fury of ghosts. Um, fucking... Fury of ghosts. Do, do, do they look like if they get hit with something, it's just gonna go straight through them? Uh, 
you don't know yet. Do they look like it? That's what I'm asking. Um, um, well, well, it looks like they're a little bit hardier than that. Like, okay. it, like there's, there's actually substance. some flavor. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not completely invisible. You can't, okay. I mean, they can, well. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, you, are there needy bits? <laughs> no. They have needy bits? Speaking no. Of needy bits. Oh, damn it. Could okay. they be swayed? All right, uh, I want to. I have uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I have all four of my key points back because you said that we would do this short 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so, so I think you're probably your way out of paper sack. Do an attack with um, and back in it. my quarter staff and then out. Okay. And then with my offhand, I'll do fury of blows. Okay. With a now, is your is your uh, quarter staff magical at this moment? No. Okay. Nip. Nope. As your quarter staff wishes through the specter. Because they're really ghosts. Like so do I roll a hit? Uh, yeah, go ahead, roll the hit. That's a hit. <laughs> 20? Hits. Okay. So we can hit them. Can hit them. So they do bleed. Oh, just, bleed. My, just my dexterity on the <laughs> damage, right? Uh, I believe so. 10. 10 damage? Damage. Okay. And, and you are hitting the orange one. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then I have two more Fury and Blow offhand attacks with me first. Okay, whenever you hit it with your quarter staff, you did notice that it didn't do quite as much damage okay. as. Did it still, like, connect? Th- yeah, it still connected. Okay. But it didn't do as much damage as you thought it would do. Okay. So go ahead with your second attacks. Now, you, uh, your Fury of Blows is magical, correct? Your I don't hands? Think, I don't think uh, his hands are considered magical. They're not yet. magical at this point. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> that was only during our game. Okay. <laughs> I'm not that lucky. Just making sure. Um, <laughs> 18? The level 12 uh, is like 18 does hit. Okay. Oh, Just wait, I don't have the bonus. Pez through things. 16. Does hit. Okay. Uh, and I'll just roll the other one real quick. Not going to hit. 5, Five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10? Doesn't hit. Eight. Eight damage? Mm-hmm. Okay. So Eighteen damage total. Okay, well you can sort of tell that when you came in and you beat the shit out of this ghost thing, that um, it is it's not really doing so well, but it's still alive. So it's just like if it was bleeding, it'd be bleeding a little bit. Okay. Okay. But it don't broke or no. Um as a Oh, that's my bonus action and my move, I'm good. Okay, uh Cashin, it is your turn. Alright, uh Shillelagh my quarter staff. Okay. I'm gonna walk up and I'm gonna bash in the orange one's head. The orange one's head. Oh yeah. Still in that kill. That's okay. Turn around. As long as we can kill him, we gotta get to Rick. Okay, up. so give me an attack roll. Twenty. A twenty hit? Piece. Yes. Does hit. Roll yeah. your damage. Hell yeah. Now now Shillelagh does make your magical. Yeah. Okay, good. Awesome. Fuck yeah. But you make some sure. damage. Twelve. Twelve damage? Yes. Okay. As you come down on Mr. Orange, uh, like you said, you wanted to hit him in the head. You hit him in the head. And pow! In traditional shillelagh manner. In traditional shillelagh manner. And right where his, your, your shillelagh came in, his as you were pushing it down, as you were like in the movement to hit it down, it just goes right through him. Right? As he disappears. Is there a pile of ectoplasm that's better than anticlimactic? Wait, he just disappeared? So is he, he gone he's, or dead? He's, he's, he's dead. dead. He okay. Just, oh, okay. Just, yeah, so. he just like, poof, he's gone. Hey, hey. Guess <laughs> killed him all the way out of this realm. Explosion. But I guess that'll work. Is that all your turn? Yeah. JR, it is your turn. Boom. I, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay, okay is that, uh, that a spell? Yes. Okay. It's a concentration. Sure. Is it? I so. I used it before. I'm going to cast it on. Uh, which one's. I'm going to cast it on the blue one. Right? Because I'm. Where am I? I'm closest to the white one. Maybe you're you're in between me and the blue one. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little tiny man. Yeah, I'm going to cast it on. A spiritual Guardian. Uh, well, how spiritual far is that? How far is the blue one from the white one? Each how, uh, how, how far is the blue one away from the white one? Yeah. Uh, about uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet. Okay, I'm going to pass cast uh, I'm going to cast it on the white one. 
Okay, uh, what is it again that you're casting? Uh, spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon on the white one. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna roll to hit, right? Uh, yeah, you can roll to hit. Do you want to uh, nine plus. Yeah, I got the black one. Um, what would I have to that? Wisdom, I think. What's the same? It doesn't. Well, if if I hit, I add my spell cast my. Spoke It'll be your spell cast modifier. So your, your wisdom and okay. proficiency, and they're not proficiency, just, just wisdom. Right? Okay. I think so. Because it's a melee spell, spell so, yeah. attack. So thirteen. Thirteen does hit. Okay, and so it's gonna do a D eight plus your eight damage. Yeah. Eight damage. Okay. Now this and is it a. And it says, huh? Uh, go. I'm just saying, is this a magic magic magic? Yeah. It's a spell. It's it, yeah. It's a it's, it's a spectral axe okay. that I summoned. It's I'm not actually wielding it. I'm just like, I'm making it hit him. Okay, I got you. With I'm my just, brain. So it doesn't do any, any specters and bumping them on the All right, head. Cool. So eight damage. And then yeah, and then as a uh, as a bonus action, I can hit the green one too. Okay. So Fair I enough. think I have to roll again for that, right? You uh, sure? You will. Woo! Woo! Nat twenty. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> Womp on it, son. Yeah. All right, now for Nat's. It's double the damage die? Uh, no, we're going to just re-roll Oh, yeah, re-roll the damage so die. So double, yeah. you double your dice, basically. Instead of just doubling it, six, you doubled it. You roll twice. You roll so twice. I'm going to roll it twice. Yeah. Okay. So do I add my damage? Just once. I just add it yeah. once. Okay. So At six. So 12. 16. So 16. To the blue one? Damn. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. To the green one. Go to the green one. Okay. Yeah. It was close enough. So that brings this one down. Okay. Gotta protect the children. <laughs> uh, wait, roll me a d20. <laughs> Oh, Eleven. Fair enough. Okay. It is now <laughs> madness, <laughs> madness fog. Madness fog. Madness, madness fog, fog is up. Mm, fuck. Uh, Jr. just went. Ricka's turn. Ricka, you got one right on your jams. Okay. Right on I'm gonna jams. draw my sword and take my sword and take some water. Okay. Oh, I need to mark that. Not natural twenty. It hits. Okay. In the middle of all this fight, I just want to look over at Captain and Gibraltar. He's out in the other. Damage is. Out in the water. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Uh, and your blade's non-magical, correct? Mm-hmm. Correct. Do I? Okay. Do I really? Yeah. I didn't catch really. All right, it's still standing. He's got his axe in his other hand. Um. He's still. Yes. I'll use my bonus action and hit him again. Okay. Fair enough. Next thing you know, you see Demi Gorgon. Oh, <laughs> hey, brother! <laughs> we next week That's for Demi really Gorgon okay. in the ring, and in these two corners, <laughs> and in these three <laughs> corners. Yeah, eight in that side of the building, <laughs> and eight. So sixteen. Yeah. Plus your. Plus my what? Is it, did you do a yeah, regular attack or a backhand attack? No, that was her bonus that was action. My bonus attack. So she just attacked. It oh. wasn't an offhand. No. She just attacked it again with her bonus so action. So then you, it's, it's, it's so it's sixteen plus your proficiency. Yeah. No, plus her strength modifier. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Strength that's modifier. what I added. So okay. So wow. sixteen. Okay. Well, that is enough to bring Mr. White Guy down. Look, yeah. As it disappears into the ass. Well, demolish the patriarchy. Okay. <laughs> Does that do anything to your uh, blade? Or is your blade just, like, it's just not attached to something? Like, if that thing dies, does your blade go away? No, it just floats. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, this is floating there. It's a bonus action to this, this dispel it, right? Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really say. I think it's a bonus action to dispel it or Demos. duration, or you can move it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, duration, one minute. I can okay. clearly tell these things are undead. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Green one's been hit. Blue hasn't been hit, right? Uh, Blue has not been hit. Green one's been hit. Pretty hard. I'm going to turn to green one. <laughs> And do chill touch. Okay. My cantrip. In case that touch. matters. Does it matter? Why? Hmm? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. Create a ghost's chill <laughs> hand in the space of a creature within range. Make a spell attack against the creature. The creature itself is to assail it with the chill of the grave. Ah. On a hit, the target takes 1d8 necrotic damage. It can't regain blah blah blah. Uh, if you hit an undead target, it also has disadvantage on attack rolls against you until the start of my next turn. So, say that slowly one more time. The important bit is, since it's undead, it has disadvantage against me on attack rolls. Yeah, but okay, then it does necrotic damage or cold damage. Necrotic. Necrotic? Okay. Yeah. So go for it. And separate your damage die from your necrotic die, so you can tell me. It's... Oh, the damage is necrotic? Yeah. Then it doesn't go through. It doesn't go through, but it's undead. 
Yeah. So I can hit it and give it disadvantage against me. Yeah, but it is immune to necrotic. Oh, okay. Wow. It hit for good to know. <laughs> Seventeen. Body. True. Yeah, it hits. So it gives me. Yeah. So so you got disadvantage. It. He got disadvantage on attack, but nothing else happens. Okay. That's that's fine with me. Okay. Is that all? Uh, roll me d twenty. Eleven. Fair enough. <laughs> this little cold hand comes up and slaps him in the wrist. Okay, that I'm was Nemo's so. turn. It is Green Person's turn, Lots and Green pose. Person is gonna go attack Nemo's. It's a good thing you hit him. <laughs> I know, right? He's Better gonna roll, him, and he has True. disadvantage on attack, correct? Yeah, towards me. And well, the first one was really high. Let's see if the second one's just as high. Yes. Did you just dab? Yeah, I did. Wait, what uh, is it? What was it? It hits. You'd be weak, right? That's bad. Uh, it is a. That is bad. 19. Okay, what did we discuss on ties? It goes to the attack. It goes to the attack. Well, I don't want to waste my thing then. Alright. Alright. So it goes through, right? I was, just, I was just super excited that it did go through. Okay. Oh, yep. No. So, uh, I'm gonna do this by the, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you all barrels. I just gave Bailey the. Uh, oh, so she gets the dental floss, and I get the drill in my eye. Okay. So you're doing worse to your brother. Yeah. Fuck him. Okay. Scar. Be on record, brother. Because he's so snarky with his shield and mage armor. Yeah. Uh, I'm break him down. That's um. Uh, okay. Well, roll me a Constitution saving throw. Hold up. Hold up. Constitution. Hey. What's that? Says the mage. <laughs> says the mage. What is it? His face says something bad. It's a one. It's a six. Okay, well you take uh, thirteen points of necrotic damage. Ooh. Oh. Holy what? shit! It's bad. a good thing you have all of those health potions. You don't know that. Health potions don't bring back necrotic. I know. I think they don't. No, they do not. Okay. What does a long rest? A long rest. All right. So Jesus. that was its. Or a cleric, maybe. Mm, that was yeah, its. Uh, get one of those. It has to be <laughs> Real high. Um, Real really high. Real high. Token bloke. It is now uh, Gibraltar's turn. Well, I'm going to stay where I'm at. I think they got this covered there. All right, fair enough. Uh, back at the top, it is Store's turn. Oh, cool. Bro, um, there's not even enough room for me to stand in there. He's fine. As I swing back like, around and cast on. <laughs> Okay, you want to get on the other side of castle? Yeah, I'm gonna just hurry around real quick and make it make it to the blue guy. Zing! And uh, bitch ass. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do the same same combo again. I'm gonna do the quarter staff and then I'm gonna do two. Go blows. for it. Eighteen. To hit, it hits. Okay. Let me just roll my team. Wish you wouldn't have to do this. Joel. 17. And that also hits both. Oh, God. Uh, oh, Lord. 24. Oh, hurt. 24. Are you saying 24? Uh, damage? No, no, no. 24 oh. to hit? Yeah, it, that hits. Okay. 11 points, real quick. Okay. 8. Sixteen. Sixteen. So, so uh, sixteen plus eleven, which is twenty-seven. Seven. Twenty-seven total. Twenty-seven halved. Oh, bitch. To what is twenty-seven half to? Uh, like or, does does it go to the attacker or does it go to the defender? No, it, 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 it's its ability. I know. You're, but yeah, well, you're not the half because it's not. Oh, even. okay. I think it goes to the attacker. You could go to the attacker. Yeah, we'll just say it takes fourteen damage. How about that? Old damage. And then, God, with uh, just a little bit of my movement left, I go, uh, Hey, Caston, can we kill, kill this one too? You want to you want, you, you move? No, no, I'm just. He's just going to turn and face He's going to turn and you, oh. you want to kill this one too? No, I, I get it. Yeah. I guess I'll put my hand up and say dibs. Okay, so that was Store's turn. It is Caston's turn. Make it 18. 18 to hit? 19 to hit. No, it hits. Yeah, it does. 
<laughs> These things are kind of weak, but they yeah. can do some damage a little bit. We've been getting some good rolls, though. Nine damage. Must be nice. Uh, magical? It's a spell, so yeah. All right, well, that blows number blue out of the water. <laughs> number blue is gone. Number blue. blue. Boom! And it explodes all over Jory's face just like he wants it. Right in There's his face. the ectoplasm. <laughs> Boom! Oh, it's all over my face! I'm going to collect it and put it in a jar and I'm going to sell it. What? Okay. Hey, everyone looks at Demos. Good for the skin. Good for the skin. Why would you look at Demos? Skin? He rubs it in. All right, uh, was that your turn? Good for the skin. I'm going to turn around and look at the rest of the room. Is there anybody left? Uh, you see one... Ecto man. Ecto ghost. I'm gonna use my movement to start walking out of the room and say they got this. Okay, fair enough. Put this shit on now. And say, yeah, now that we weakened it for you. Yeah. Okay, so you're out of the room now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it is now Jr's turn. All right, I'm going to use. Uh, it takes a full action. So yeah, I'm gonna use cure wounds on this fella because he's like limping and shit. Okay. Now, will cure wounds cure necrotic damage? I okay. he said yeah. So. Does it not? Spells do. Spells do? Yeah, spells okay. and long spells. Spells. Incantations yeah. if you... <laughs> spells and incantations for those okay. to go ahead and Go ahead and do your do, do you do thing. So it does plus my... No, I think it's plus wisdom, so four. Yeah, so it does uh, heals from for 11. Okay. <laughs> You still have the two points in necrotic, correct? Or no? Because he took he uh, the attack was for like twelve or thirteen necrotic, right? Yeah. So he only healed you for eleven. So that means you still have two yeah, points. Yeah, it drops from my max to twenty. Okay. Twenty-four. But that'll go away with if you take a long rest. So you're back up. Well, you weren't down, but you're back up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was that your turn? Uh, yeah. It takes full action. Okay, Ricka. I guess I'll turn to green. Turn to around. Say. Every now and then you see a green blue specter and you want it dead. Turn around. There you go. I really don't want to die to this song. Turn around. Turn dead eyes. Every now and then I turn around. Fifteen. That hits. And you These things are really weak, Bob. Tonight. And I need you more than me. Cause your Ten damage. Are good. Uh, non-magical, correct? Yes. Uh, to green? Yes. Okay, so as you come down with your blade, you slice it, and it just sort of like poofs as you slice it, and it goes down. Bye, bitches! Okay. Do I still hear the voices? The voice, yes, you the do. Voice? You still I, hear the voices. I turn to Rick and I go, are you okay now? And it's just like I still hear it. You still hear? You still hear the uh, the magical voices. The voice you're now hearing is a Ghost Riley. Riley. <laughs> Spared one expense. Can I tell where it's coming from? Is it still coming from? It's the still sort of coming is? from uh, from that specific sarcophagi, uh, or at least around there. Can we open it? Uh, y'all can open any sarcophaguses that y'all. I want to check for trap. Okay. Uh, do y'all want to do this one by one? The first one that I want to check is the one she's hearing. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, give me a perception check, you. Not sleight of hand. You uh, okay. Are you okay? You're, you're checking for traps. Trap. Okay. Uh, sleight of hand trap. Looks good. Looks good. It's the one okay. critical one. Okay. Looks good. 